Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at how we can automate spells and features such as Polymorph, Wild Shape, and Disguise Self. We'll be using the module Automated Evocations Polymorph Manager. This module allows us to not only change our character's appearance, but it also adds in some fancy animations as well. Since this module though is in a beta state, I want to show you the core foundry feature and how to change your character's appearance and stats, just in case this module does not work at some point in the future. All right, we'll start off with the player's view. We're going to go ahead and take the actor we want to change into, drag it onto the player character sheet, select whether we are using wild shape or polymorph or custom settings. We'll see the appearance of the token changes as well as the character sheet has changed as well. And then if we are finished, we can just click Restore Transformation at the top. Now, do note that there were no animations present, as well as if we look at the right hand side here, we can see there is a new actor that has been created. The GM would have to manually delete this. Now for comparison, let's take a look at the module and see what it offers. With our token selected, we're going to go to Transform, select the actor we want to change into, one more time, select Wild Shape. The animation plays under our token and our appearance changed as well as our character sheet changed at the same time. And we can easily change back by selecting these two red arrows. And if you look at the right hand side, we don't have the actor that we had before, meaning the GM doesn't have to manually delete it. Now we'll jump over to the GM view and look at the set for everything that we've just done. The first thing we need to do is go to Configure Settings, System Settings, and Allow Polymorphing. Next we're going to go to User Management. In User Management we need to change the permissions for our players. We need to allow our players to be able to create new actors as well as create new tokens. And then just click Save Configuration and Save and Return. Next looking at the setup for the module it is incredibly simple. We're just going to go to our character sheet, go to the top, the same icon we saw earlier, and drag whichever actor we want onto the Polymorph Manager. Select the animation we desire, as well as select Wild Shape, Polymorph, or Alter Disguise Self. And then close it out. Alternatively, you could go to your Companions tab, create a new companion, such as I've done here with Wild Shape, and you could populate this compendium and then select the compendium in the Polymorph Manager. As a final note, this whole process can be sped up considerably if your player is consistently transforming into the same creature. For example, let's go ahead and open up our druid here, go again to the Polymorph Manager, and our druid regularly transforms into a black bear. We we'll go ahead and select Wild Shape, and same thing, select our animation. And we're going to remove the badger and at the top I have now selected ordered. I could have random, but you cannot have random and ordered selected at the same time. Close it out. Now when I click transform, we're going to have very few buttons to select, to press. We just see our character transform into that black bear. We can change back. And the whole process is much simpler. Well, that's where we're going to finish today's video. Hopefully this has been helpful and has given you some ideas on how you can easily use Polymorph, Wild Shape, and Disguise Self in your own Foundry game. Thanks everyone and have a good day.